Hi, my name is Christy Hopkins. I'm Vice President for Enrollment here at McPherson College. And today joining me, I have the Faculty of the Art and Design Department here at McPherson College. So we wanna start out, and I'm just gonna have the faculty introduce themselves to you and talk a little bit about what they teach here at McPherson. Well, hi, Christy. Uh, my name is Dee Irway Sherwood, and I am Professor of Graphic Design and Department Chair. Very good. Hi, Christy. I'm Kelsey Gossett-Dennis. I am Assistant Professor of Photography and Art. Hello, I'm uh, Nathan Pollard. I am Assistant Professor of Digital Media here at college. Hi, and I am Michaela Valley groblacher and I am Associate Professor of Art. Very good. One of the amazing things about our art and design department um, as are you guys and the backgrounds that you guys come come with as being artists yourselves. Can you guys talk a little bit about your own backgrounds and um, and your work that you do? Well, Christy, um, this will be my 17th year teaching at McPherson College in the art and design program and outside of uh, teaching. Uh, I also love to do my own design work um, occasionally for freelance for clients um, and also trying to exhibit when possible. Great. I'll go. Um, I, this is, uh, will be my second year at McPherson College, and I um, have owned a professional photography studio and small business um, for the past 10 years. And um, besides that, I also have an art practice. Um, I use a lot of um, my own sort of narratives and my own life in my work. Um, both using photography and a lot of video and performance type work. That's great. Uh, so I'll go next, I guess. Um, I was a, a motion graphic designer for a large TV studio in London for around 20 years before my last four years of teaching at McPherson College. Um, and, and I think it just is something that helps me bring uh, a working knowledge of sort of the industry to the college and to the students. Great. Well, I have a pretty long history. Um, <laughs> in my first life, I used to be a physical therapist in Austria and I owned my own clinic. Then in my second life, when I moved to the United States, I, uh, my art, my passion for art really came out and I became a, a landscape designer while I was living in the Pacific Northwest. And now I consider myself in my third life and uh, it kind of allows me to combine all my prior experiences as, as a professional artist and as a teacher and I can apply everything I know to what I do now. That's great, that's great. Um, so Dee, would you mind, let's, do, let's start with an overview of the different majors that, that we offer here at McPherson College. If you could go through that with us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, I'd be happy to. Um, we have several different uh, majors to offer within the art and design department. Uh, some of them are the graphic design degree. That is a really great uh, major to go into if a student has an interest in working at an in-house or uh, an, a, dig a digital design agency. We also have the graphic design marketing degree. That would be also a really good a degree to choose from if a student is interested potentially in working in an advertising agency, wanting a little bit more um, of not only de the design and art curriculum background, but also having some business acumen knowledge. Um, another option we have is the graphic design photography degree, and both the graphic design marketing and the graphic design photography degree are unique to the state of Kansas. So students that are wanting to emphasize, you know, commercial photography work into their overall body for their portfolio, that would be a really great uh, major choice for them. We also have uh, majors in studio um, with a traditional fine arts background and then also arts education. And of course, last but not least, digital media. And digital media really encompasses um, all of the graphic design class uh, curriculum, but also is a focus on video editing and web design. Oh, very good, very good. So Nathan, let me, let me pick on you for just a little bit. And why don't you talk a little bit more about how the course material works in your area specifically. Okay, um, well I can, I can cover it a little more generally as well if you like, but um, a lot of the course materials are, are based around lecture, not, not 
uh, you know, an incredible amount of lecture because we like to also demonstrate uh, and then practice what we're, tr what we're demonstrating. So there's a lot of um, practicing of skills in there. You know, we're trying to build knowledge um, by teaching sort of techniques that are used within art and design. Um, so we look at composition, we look at layout, we look at um, providing a solid grounding in whatever tools you might need in your area. So that can be also software if it's a digital background. Um, and, and what we're really trying to do is get the students to be able to build a solid portfolio so they've got something to show prospective employers and something to take with them when they graduate. Very good. Is that similar with all the different areas within art and design? I, mean, I would say so. But I don't know if my colleagues want to say yeah. something about that. I would say a lot of the art and design classes are based around studio time and hands-on time. Um, we do a lot of um, demonstrating, but but a lot of just sort of overseeing students making work and giving input and constant critiques, um, you know, to talk about learning how to talk about your work and learning how to sort of be better and getting the input of your peers is something that we, I think we all do quite a bit of. Yeah, Very do, good. we do like to see our Artistry students, you know, actually creating pieces of work and then talking to them about how they went through that process and how they came to the sort of final design conclusion or, mm -hmm. um, you know, be it, a bit of graphic design or a painting or some ceramics so it is good to to see that at every stage and be able to talk to them and you know how they came to produce such a you know wonderful piece of art great great so why don't we talk a little bit about the opportunities that students have to exhibit their their artwork at the collegiate level so i know our students do a lot of that so um michaela you want to start with that well, we have a lot of opportunities to exhibit. We have a beautiful gallery called Friendship Gallery uh, on the campus of the college and we have an annual student art competition where the students are encouraged to exhibit their best work. Then we have several businesses downtown, McPherson, who um, uh, invite the students to, to exhibit there. Uh, there is like, they can uh, exhibit in the public library, they can exhibit in a, in a coffee shop, they can exhibit at a, a doctor's office and you know, they can rotate that in and out. Uh, we have opportunities within the county in arts organizations uh, they invite the students to exhibit. They have annual shows, and all those shows are group shows. Then we have within the state of Kansas larger uh, art organ arts organizations, for example, the Hayes Art Center. They have twice a year, they have a, a rather big opportunity for the students to exhibit. One is exclusively photography, and the other one is more um, other studio arts. Then when it comes to solo shows, uh, if any students are ready to have a solo show during their education, I have really good connections to many galleries and arts organizations throughout the state of Kansas. And so if the students are ready, I can you know, get them a solo show. And lastly, all of our students um, have a senior show. So once they are a senior, their big final project is to have uh, a, a big, basically solo exhibit in Friendship Gallery. So there's lots of opportunities to exhibit. That's great. I am always amazed at our, at our students and, and what we as a college have the privilege to see and just walking through there on a daily basis and seeing the work, I'm always astounded by the, by the work that our students do. It's pretty, it's pretty impressive. And I think that speaking for my colleagues as well, I think that we are all very proud of them. <laughs> yeah, yes. absolutely, absolutely. So you mentioned, you mentioned the, senior, um, the senior art show. So this is the senior capstone time of the year at McPherson College. And so I know some of your students are probably really disappointed in not being able to do that, that, that exhibit in Friendship Hall. So um, talk a little bit about what we're doing on online and we will we'll also um, kind of direct students of where they can maybe see some of those. I've already seen the one that's out there. There's a, there's a website out um, on the Capstone website, uh, on our McPherson College website of, of um, Italia's work. And so talk a little bit about the senior 
capstone project and how we're doing that online this year and how that all came about. Uh, yeah, Christy, I'd be happy to. Um, so every year, uh, the department faculty works very uh, intensely with our upcoming seniors who are going to be graduating. Uh, we meet with them on a regular basis to make sure that they're, you know, going smoothly, their preparatory um, aspects, um, getting closer to their uh, exhibition time. And so this year, unfortunately, we are not able to have their in-person show in Friendship Hall, um, but we are taking it to the next level and we're going to be doing a digital showcase um, of their work. The students are recreating their digital uh, gallery space um, and going to be showcasing their work, work in electronic uh, format. So uh, users that come to McPherson College website will be able to go to the capstone uh, area um, and all of the, our students uh, will be featured there with their work and you'll be able to click and look at the artwork and then see up close detail and to be able to read more information about it. So it's going to be really cool. And like you said, there's already an, an example of Italia's work and it looks really great. Very impressive. So that website is um, mcpherson.edu forward slash academics forward slash senior dash capstone. So um, there'll be a lot of those um, coming up at, at, in other areas as well. So definitely a, a site that we want, want to direct people to to see. So very good. So Kelsey, talk to me a little bit about something that maybe is your favorite um, part of teaching at McPherson College and teaching the students. Well, I love just being able to share my passion with students, um, getting to do what I love to do every day and sharing um, the knowledge that I've built up throughout the years with students and watching them grow is probably my favorite part of teaching. Um, but I think specifically at McPherson College, because of our small size, we really get a lot of one-on-one -on -one -on -one attention with our students. Um, and you get to know them and really help them kind of through each process of, of um, you know, their, their journey throughout education. So I think that small sort of intimate community type space that we have at McPherson College is really special. That's great. That's great. And you guys do such a great job of that. And so I know you guys spend that individual attention. We have small class sizes so that we can have that in individual attention to prepare for the art shows, to prepare for the senior capstone project, and then also to prepare for internships and placements. So um, Dee, you want to give a couple of, of examples of yeah. internships and placements of your students? Yeah, absolutely. Um, McPherson College as a whole um, tends to have a very high uh, internship experience um, with all of our students that, that attend here. Um, and especially also that is true in our department. So um, our students may experience shadowings. Um, they may also do apprenticeships um, in the studio aspect. Um, our ed students may, you know, work, you know, one-on-one -on -one with a, a, you know, current local art teacher. And then of course we have uh, students that will also do internships and in in-house and also uh, design agencies. So we highly encourage our students to experience for sure one, if not two experiences uh, during their time in the department. Um, we do use career services um, to help set up that process, but we also um, have students that um, are able to gain those experiences by way of uh, participating in activities um, such as portfolio reviews in design competitions and other types of experiences that are getting their student work out there and, um, and is allowing them to be noticed. So. Um, re most recently, um, some of our students have interned at a couple agencies in Wichita. Um, last spring, uh, we had three students that applied for an internship at Barclay. Um, we were told there was over 700 applications. Our three were down into the pool of five um, that they had for one-on-one -on -one interviews, and then one of our three was selected. So I think that's a that's really awesome. great example of the quality of our student work. So. That is awesome. That's awesome. I mean, just it's just the opportunities our students get are just are just astounding and from the, from the work so. that you all do. So that's great. So if we have um, you know, students who are interested in, in art and design at McPherson College, of course we want them to inquire and fill out the application. But one of the steps in that process is putting together their portfolio for, for um, potential scholarship at, at, um, at McPherson College. So can you kind of walk us through what, what all do you like to see in a portfolio and what that process is like and how that works? Sure, well, um, I'll begin with that. Um, we uh, would love to see, you know, a variety of different types of media, um, you know, uh, as many pieces as possible, no more than between eight and 10. Um, we'd like to see sketchbooks, if that's um, something that the student has um, that they've been working on and developing in conjunction with their projects. 
Um, but they can also bring, uh, you know, if they have a focus of one variety of media, it can, uh, those pieces can be within that media. So we really like to see, you know, what they have been working on um, in an academic sense, but we also like to see personal work that they've been developing on their own time. So really a variety. Um, and uh, yeah, we just, it's a very casual experience. The department faculty will meet with the student. We will talk to them about their pieces, how they developed um, those particular pieces of work. And then we just really want to hear about their process as well. Great, great. Anything else to add on that? What if I'm a student who's interested in graphic design, but I haven't, I've had art classes, but not graphic design classes. Can I still consider that and still go that route? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. A absolutely. Yeah, most definitely. Good. I mean, good, I just good. want to follow up what Dee said is that it's really nice to see sketchbooks or even if it scribbles on a piece of paper, just mm -hmm. so we get an idea of like the thought process that went into a piece of work. It's really good to see, you know, creative thinking and what went into it. That's great. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Kelsey, I would, we'll both of you. <laughs> I would also just add that um, you don't necessarily need to know exactly what you want to do uh, yeah. with your career coming into the college. Like that's what, what this whole experience is about. So yeah, like um, what Dee said, just things that you're interested in, the work that you've created so far will help give us an idea of um, maybe what your abilities are now and how where you're at now so we can help you grow too. So don't feel like you need to know exactly the work that you want to be making forever when you exactly. say exactly yeah. <laughs> forever is a big <laughs> word yeah. Yeah, exactly <laughs> Michaela were you going to add something else to that no okay okay, okay. <laughs> my <job. laughs> that's that's great well I'll tell you you know we started off with you guys talking about um your you know your own talents and and um and how they how you how you use those in your work here at McPherson College but um, you know, in closing and getting, as we start to wrap this up, can you guys tell us why you choose to, to teach at McPherson College when you could be doing a number of, you could be working on your own, you could be freelancing on your own, you could be working in a number of places. So why do you choose to continue to work at McPherson College? What's it all about for you? Um, well, I, I'll take a stab at that first. Um, I love teaching at McPherson College. That's one reason why I, I've still been here all this time, uh, going into my 18th year this fall. Um, it's a wonderful work family, um, not only working with the students, but also my colleagues um, on a, as a whole. Um, and uh, I really enjoy, as Kelsey alluded to earlier, um, the small one-on-one -on -one, um, atmosphere that we have within our classes and getting to really work with those students and understanding, you know, where they're at and where they need to go and then getting them there. So, um, and then the relationships that we build afterwards with our student alumni. So, yeah. it's a great place. Yes, I mean, Dean Kelsey already said that, you know, part of the college, working out the college is the community. So, you know, everybody listens to what you have to say. Everybody's uh, helpful. The campus is a friendly place. It's mm -hmm. just it's just a wonderful environment to be in, and and then of course number two, as again already been said, is the students. We we get to work with such amazing students. We get to see how they grow, how they progress, um, you know, and we get to work with them in such close quarters and get to speak to them on such a personal level. And it, it's just a, a, a wonderful environment to be in. It's great. In addition. Um, you know, I second everything that was said already, but I think what um, makes a big uh, uh, plus for me is also we have the most beautiful studio spaces. Mm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are very yeah. inviting, they're large, they're clean, the environment is safe. Um, it, and not just in the art department, the whole campus is just mm -hmm. a really um, nice, helpful, caring, uh, place so it's great to work there it's great and, and going back again I mean Dee already said it we we stay in touch with students after they leave they tell us they get in contact with us they Facebook message us it's just wonderful to hear how they're doing you know and how they're enjoying being out in the uh, you know the working world so it, it is just so great to get to know so many people that's great. Any last words before I before we close? Well, I thought uh, we should talk a little bit about the possibilities of jobs when the students graduate. 
because I think that you know many many high school students they love art and then they are afraid of mm -hmm. of becoming art majors. And really, what I would like to say is that art education is especially at the undergraduate level is is like when you look at a big tree a big tree trunk first it's like this big fat trunk and then that and and that is your basic education and as a trunk then you know branches out into the big branches this is kind of our major track in the department but that doesn't mean this is going to be your job forever so as you as like the tree when you when you look at the tree and as it keeps branching and branching so it becomes more and more uh, uh, precise and more and more detailed and and there are hundreds of jobs out there that a person with a good art education can take and so as the students find out, am I a maker? I mean, you, you can make things as an artist, paint and ceramics and whatever make. Are you more of a designer? Everything that exists rather than, you know, what nature, nature makes, but everything needs to be designed from you know, things that are designed on paper, just uh, uh, logos or whatever, but everything, every house is designed. So you can become an architect. Every car is designed. Every chair is designed. Mm -hmm. Every piece of furniture needs to be designed. Or you can be a flower arranger or, you know, everything needs uh, uh, design and, and artistic thinking in a way. And or are you a talker, you know? Do you mm -hmm. want to talk and use your art in talking? You can be a tour guide in, in, in a museum. You can, you can be a lecturer. You can be a teacher. You can, I mean, there is like hundreds of jobs. Do you want to write? You can write for a magazine. You can write for a paper. You can write textbooks. So the possibilities of, of taking your art education and then having a job there are hundreds of jobs. It's just we, we, we can't just see it so narrow and say, well, you can't live, make a living as a painter. Well, you know, that's just part of the education. So yeah. I think that that's really, that, I appreciate that. That's really, that's really good. And I think what, a, what an amazing opportunity for you all to see students go through that process of figuring that out and seeing where they, where they end up with art, knowing all the different um, possibilities for them and, and molding them themselves as as their as your own art projects through their yeah, through their years yeah. at McPherson College. So I really appreciate you guys um, taking the time today to visit. I hope this gives uh, our prospective students an, an idea of what what you all um, have to offer. And again, such a fantastic faculty that we have here um, in art and design. Take some time, you know, I, I, if, with with people watching this, you know, check out the website, check yeah. out the resources available, and just um, reach out to admissions and we'll get you hooked up. And these guys would love to talk to you all day about art. So um, thank you guys so much again for your time today and we'll sign off. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you.